Quiet, please. All rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Adams. Present. Amprey Samuel. Present. Ayala. Present. Barron. Present. Morelli. Here. Brannon. I'm, I am here. Shh. Thank you. Cabrera. Here. Chin. Here. Cohen. Cohen. Thank you. Constantinides. Present. Shh. Quiet in the chambers. Carnegie, Deutsch, Diaz, Drum, Present. Espinal, Eugene, Present. Gibson, Jonai, Gradenchik, Holden, Here. Kalos, King. Ku. Pleasant. Kozlowitz. Here. Lanceman. Lander. Levin. Levine. Here. Mizell. Present. Menchaca. Presente. Miller. Moya. Present. Perkins. Present. Powers. Here. Reynoso. Richards. Present. Rivera. Rodriguez. Here. Rose. Here. Rosenthal. Here. Salamanca. Present. Levin. Here. Torres. Present. Carnegie. Present. Traeger. Here. Ulrich. Here. Ballone. Van Bramer. Here. Williams. Here. Jaeger. Matteo, Combo, Speaker Johnson. Here. Councilor Ojonai. Thank you. All quiet in the chambers, please. All rise for the invocation. All rise. <clears throat> the invocation will be delivered by Reverend Hung Si from the Chinese Christian Herald Crusades at 156-03 Horace Harding Expressway in the Great Borough of Queens. Would you bow your head and pray with me? <clears throat> Almighty God, dear Heavenly Father, thank you and praise you for this wonderful opportunity and privilege to be here at this great assembly. We ask your blessings on the people who have been called to lead the community in which we live and work. I pray for all the elected officials entrusted here with the holy calling of public service and particularly members in this council. Grant them wisdom, courage, and compassion to know and do what is right and good and true to the people in this great city, the city of New York. Pray that you will strengthen them with endurance, give them capacity to make wise decisions for the future of the city of New York. I also pray for the agenda set before them today Please give an assurance of what would please you and what would benefit those who live and work in and around our beloved city of New York. Thank you that every decision that is made today will be governed and guided by your mighty hand. And fill us with joy and peace as we continue to serve in these noble positions. I pray all these things in the glorious name of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Amen. Amen. Please Amen. be seated. A motion to spread the invocation. Council Member Ku. Thank you, Madam uh, Public Advocate. Thank you, Reverend Hanshe. Uh, Reverend Hanshe is the Associate Executive Director of the Chinese Christian Herald Crusades, CCHC, headquartered in Queens and established in 1982. CCHC is a faith based Christian organization that embraces the mission to reach out to the community through the community service and events. Excuse me, Council Member. Excuse me. May we have quiet in the chambers, please, and have respect for Council Member Ku. He has the floor. We apologize, Council Member. Uh, let me repeat the last sentence I said. CCHC is a faith based Christian organization that embraces the mission to reach out to community through community service and evangelistic efforts. Reverend She immigrated to the United States in 1994. He previously was a university employee working as a program developer for the Hong Kong Baptist University. He then received his master's at the Ohio State University, majoring in political science and public administration. He also received a master's in divinity at Alliance Theological Seminary in Nyack, New York. He joined CCHC in 1995, where he serves as the superintendent of the CCHC Mission Center and has been ministering at CCHC for more than 20 years, where he has assisted numerous new Chinese immigrants settled into their new community. It's my honor to make a motion to spread the invocation in full upon the record. Thank you. So moved. Adoption of minutes, Council Member Landsman. The motion that the minutes of the charter meeting of January 3rd be adopted as printed. Messages and papers from the mayor. M13, city debt and reserves. Received, ordered, printed, and filed. M14 and M15, Conflict of Interest Board Appointments. Rules, Privileges, and Elections. Communication from City, County, and Borough Offices. None. Petitions and Communications. None. Land Use Call-Ups. None. May we have quiet in the chambers, please, as we now hear from the Speaker, Speaker Corey Johnson. You got me while I was eating a Hershey Kiss. Um, good afternoon. Happy Valentine's Day to all. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the passing of Ronald Sveck, a former firefighter we lost over the weekend to a 9-11 related cancer. Ronald was a longtime firefighter when he spent weeks at Ground Zero following the attack on our nation and on our city. We thank Ronald for his service to the FDNY and our thoughts and prayers are with his family during this difficult time. If folks could uh, please rise as we take a moment of silence All in rise. honor of firefighter Ronald Sveck. Thank you. It's sad how many of these we see folks passing away from 9-11 related illnesses. So I wanna jump into our docket for the day. We're only voting on a few land use items. First, we'll be voting on the 425 Grand Concourse rezoning located in Councilman Rafael Salamanca's district, the chair of our land use committee. This would redevelop the former PS31 school into a 27 story mixed use building with 277 affordable residential units, some retail space, and some community facility space. We will also be voting on the East 88th Street Special Permit located in Councilmember Ben Kalos' district. He is on paternity leave. Uh, this would modify the use and bulk regulations um, to allow a tutoring and test prep center in the Rhinelander building located at 350 East 88th Street while restoring a 121-year-old landmark, Parsonage Holy Trinity Church. 
That completes the highlights of our docket. I look forward to proceeding with today's votes. I want to wish you all a good President's Day and holiday weekend, but I will have that opportunity to wish you the same thing tomorrow at our next stated meeting. <laughs> and then it's out of the way for February. I want to turn it back uh, to the public advocate and to the clerk. Thank you. Discussion of general orders? Seeing none. Report of special committees? None. <clears throat> Report of Standing Committees. Report of the Committee on Land Use, LU6 and Reso 183, East 88th Street. Cornegan, hi, I won't quit it. Coupled on general orders. LU7, Landmark Designation. Laid over. LUs 8 through LU810, 425 Grand Concourse. Uh, approved the modifications and referred to the City Planning Commission pursuant to Rule 11.7b of the Rules of the Council and Section 197d of the New York City Charter. LU 14 and Reso 184, tax, ex tax exemption. Coupled on general orders. Preconsidered LU 25, Hopkinson Park Place. Laid over. On the general order calendar, LU 8 and Reso 185 through LU 10 and Reso 187, 425 Grand Concourse. Coupled on general orders. Resolution appointing various persons, Commissioner of Deeds. Coupled on general orders, and at this time, I'd ask for a roll call vote on all items on the general order calendar today. Shh, quiet in the chambers, please. Adams. Ampri Samuel. Aye on all. Ayala. Aye on all. Barron. I vote aye. Borelli. Aye. Brannan. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. Aye on all. Cohen. Aye. Constantinides. Aye on all. Cornegy. Aye. Deutsch. Aye. Diaz. Drum. Aye. Espinal. Eugene. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Jonai. Jonai. Okay. Gordenchik. Aye. Holden. Aye. Koo. Aye. Kozlowitz. Lanceman. Lander. Aye. Levin. Aye. Levine. Aye. Jonai. Aye. Maisel. Yes. Menchaca. Aye. Miller. Affirmative. Moya. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Powers. Aye. Richards. Aye. Rivera. Aye on all. Rodriguez. Aye. Rose. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Salamanca. Aye. Torres. Aye. Traeger. Aye. Ulrich. Aye. Valone. Van Bramer. Aye. Williams. Aye. Jaeger. Matteo. Aye. Combo. Aye. Speaker Johnson. Aye. <laughs> I think it was unanimous. All items on today's general order calendar were adopted by a vote of whatever the speaker said. 45 affirmative, zero negative, and zero abstentions. And... Introduction and reading of bills. All bills have been referred to committees as indicated on the agenda. There are no resolutions. We'll begin with general discussions, beginning with Councilmember Koo. Thank you, Madam Public Advocate. I would like to wish my colleagues a happy and healthy year of the dawn. And I would like to invite everyone here to join me in the Fashion Lunar New Year Parade this Saturday at 11 a.m. The Lunar New Year officially begins this Friday and lasts until March 1st. This is a time for families to come together, often from across the world, to celebrate and spend time with one another. We embrace our family, our health, and good fortune. And we prepare to take on the coming year with positive energy and enthusiasm. So Happy New Year to my colleagues. In the spirit of the holiday, 
I would like to take this opportunity to ask my colleagues in joining me in signing on to intro 75. This is a bill that will suspend alternate side parking regulations on the eve of Lunar New Year. As you know, this is the time of the year when families will travel from around the world to be with each other. The day before Lunar New Year is a time of a great commuting for, for people returning home in Asian cultures. In many areas of the city, easing alternate side regulations will provide for an easier commute for the thousands of Asian Americans living in our great city. So, Happy New Year to all. I hope to see you this Saturday in Flushing. Thank you. Happy New Year to you as well. Council Member Barron. Uh, thank you, Madam Public Advocate. As we know, February is designated as Black History Month, and I do want to just share a brief bio uh, with you about Carter G. Woodson. So Carter G. Woodson is a scholar and author of over 30 books, a journalist, an educator, and a historian. He is known as the father of Black History Month, which originally started as a week and expanded to a month. He, as a youth, worked as a farm laborer, a garbage truck driver, and a coal miner. And his father taught him learning to accept insult, to compromise on principle, to mislead your fellow man, or to betray your people is to lose your soul. He was self-educated till the age of 20, at which time he went to high school and completed high school within less than two years. He became a teacher, a principal, a school administrator in the Philippines. He went on to get a degree also from um, Howard University, no, Harvard. Some people think Harvard is better than Howard. Harvard University, University of Chicago, and Berea College. Uh, he was convinced that the role of blacks in our history was not recorded adequately. He said it was overlooked, suppressed, ignored, and misrepresented. And unfortunately, that is still the issue as we read about current situations that are happening right here in our public school system. Um, he devoted his life to historical research, and he did at one point belong to the NAACP in Washington, but left when they refused to support his call for a boycott. But one of his most famous quotes, as is listed in the book that he wrote, The Miseducation of the Negro, is as follows. If you can control a man's thinking, you don't have to worry about his actions. If you control what a man thinks, you don't have to worry about what he will do. If you can make a man think he's inferior, you don't have to compel him to seek an inferior status. He will do so without being told. And finally, if you can make a man believe that he is justly an outcast, you don't have to order him to the back door. He will go to the back door on his own, and if there is no back door, the very nature of the man will demand that you build one." End quote. Carter G. Woodson, thank you. We recognize him at Howard University as well. Council Member Chin. Thank you, Madam Public Advocate. I also want to take this opportunity uh, to wish all my colleagues a happy Lunar New Year. It's coming up on Friday, and this is the year of the dog. So anyone who's born in the year of the dog are friendly, loyal, works very hard, but I think they also know how to enjoy life. And guess what? Our speaker is born in the year of the dog. <laughs> As our council member Ku said, um, Lunar New Year's Eve, uh, it's a very uh, important day for families, so that's why I co-sponsor uh, co the legislation. But we are also, uh, the two of us, are inviting all of our colleagues and your staff to join us tomorrow at our annual Lunar New Year luncheon at the Members' Lounge. We will have Korean food, Chinese food, Vietnamese food, and kosher Chinese food. Okay, so come early at noon. So, uh, and celebrate with us. And I also invite you to come uh, to the firecracker ceremony on Friday at noon at Saturday Roosevelt Park. And we also have a community event at two o'clock at the Chinese Consolidated Benevolent Association. And we also have a parade, Council Member yeah. Koo. You start in Flushing and we will have one in Chinatown, yeah. Lower Manhattan on Sunday, February 25th. So bring your family and enjoy the festivity with us. 
Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Something tells me you'll have full attendance tomorrow. Yeah. Council Member Williams. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Valentine's to everyone uh, and Happy Lunar New Year. Yesterday, uh, Errol Lewis uh, posted an op ed uh, that I was embarrassed to read, uh, basically saying that people should be wary of using Ravi Ragbear as a hero in the immigration movement. Um, I have a lot of respect for Errol Lewis, but he couldn't have been more wrong. Uh, he talked about uh, Robbie's uh, background and crime he committed as a reason not to push him up. I want to make sure that we pushed back against that. Unfortunately, he is falling under the Trumpian t uh, trap of separating us. We should be very careful when we use crimes in general as a separation. We should look at people as individuals and as what they did. Uh, if we tend to use crimes, too many people, so many folks will get uh, caught up in that. And so we must be very careful and resist in doing that. Uh, the crime he committed uh, was a nonviolent crime, if that makes a difference. Not one of the people uh, Mr. Trump said that he would be focused on. And then uh, everyone is worthy of rehabilitation, even immigrants. Uh, if people want to know, he actually had a green card uh, when the crime was committed. Also, how much time do you serve before you have paid your debt back to society? He served two years in jail, two years house arrest, and two years in immigration detention center. Since then, he has been a model, stu a model uh, resident. If there's anybody uh, to uplift, I am extremely proud that I stand with Robbie, and I would uh, ask Errol Lewis to rescind his op-ed uh, in trying to separate us in uh, the time when we need to be unified and using such Trumpian uh, excuses to do so. With that said, uh, we all have a lot of uh, resolutions and intros, but I want to point my attention to Resolution 182 uh, by myself, Councilman Rodriguez, Menchaca, Richards, Cumbo, and Espinal, uh, calling on the United States Congress to pass and the President to sign H.R. 4937, which is uh, Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez's uh, resolution, which would provide immigration relief for New York resident uh, Ravi Ravidith Ravi Lawrence Ragbear and denouncing the unlawful targeting of immigrant rights activists for deportation by the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, also known as ICE. And I want to thank uh, the chair of the Immigration Committee, uh, Councilman Menchaca, for expeditiously having a hearing on this tomorrow. And I hope everyone will join on. Thank you. We welcome Errol Lewis, uh, the personality of New York One and, and his class. They're in the balcony. Uh. <laughs> well, <laughs> hi, Errol. <laughs> Councilmember Traeger. Uh, Errol, there's an empty seat down here next to uh, <laughs> Councilmember Williams. <laughs> Talking about perfect right. timing. <laughs> well, that's, that's great. Uh, we, 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 love, we love our educators, so welcome, Professor. Um, uh, public advocate and my colleagues, uh, as many of you are aware, a teenage girl was raped by two Brooklyn South Narcotics detectives in my district last fall. The detectives have tried to mount a defense by claiming it was consensual. They have since resigned, but we need strong laws in place to make sure this never happens again. Uh, my consent legislation, intro 571, which I uh, introduced in November and am reintroducing today with uh, co-prime sponsors, Council Members Carlina Rivera and Donovan Richards, will make it clear that anyone in custody of law enforcement official is incapable of giving genuine consent to sexual contact. In addition to my bill, I'm also reintroducing my resolution, Reso 177, that calls on state lawmakers to amend the penal code to end the loophole that allowed the detectives to claim that the rape was consensual, which was outrageous. There can be no meaningful consent when you're in the custody of a law enforcement officer. State law wisely recognizes that inmates can't give consent to corrections officers and parolees can't give genuine consent to parole officers. All law enforcement must be held to the same standard. I'm also working with the assembly to make sure that this change happens at the state level in a bill based on our city council resolution just passed the assembly. I'm pleased to have the support from my colleagues, council members Corina Rivera, and Donovan Richards, who are co prime co-sponsors of the bill and the resolution, and I thank you for your time. Happy Winter New Year as well. Thank you. Council Member Powers. Thank you, and happy Valentine's Day, and happy Ash Wednesday. Uh, I wanted to just recognize today the important announcement that was made about Rikers Island and putting us on a timeline and a process for doing that. And I want to thank both uh, Speaker Corey Johnson and the four 
uh, uh, representatives of the sites, uh, Councilmember Ayala, Councilmember Chin, Councilmember Steve Levin, Councilmember Karen Kozlowitz, for being open-minded and willing to have a discussion in their community about uh, the eventual closure of Rikers Island and the, the siting of uh, borough-based facilities, which will put us in a place to do that in a in the short time frame. So I wanted to thank this whole body also for leading this conversation over the last few years, uh, including my council member right in front of me, council member Daly, Danny Drum. Um, it, it, today was a, a not just about talking about it anymore, but actually moving the city into a process to do it. So I, I want to thank again my the speaker and my colleagues for their willingness to move the ball downfield on this one. So thank you. And our last speaker is Council Member Rodriguez. Thank you, Public Advocate. Uh, first, I would like to thank you for taking the initiative today, bringing three of our five DAs to a press conference in front of the federal court at 60 Court Street, calling eyes to stop coming to the court or in front of the court and try to deport individuals that they've been accused by the court system However, the cases are still pending, and I have been deporting many of them. Last Friday, there were three individuals in front of my building waiting for me. There was a family member. There were a family that they lost. They, one of the family members was picked by ICE at 6100 Central Street. Legal aid being defending that case. If those families, they wouldn't know where I live and waiting for me in front of the building, most likely legal aid will not know that one of her clients was already in the detention center in Jersey. I sign in to my colleague, Council Member Williams, taking advantage of our good friend, Eric here, to also say, yes, because someone has made a mistake in the past, it doesn't justify that this immigration policy led by a right-wing Donald Trump is dividing family. So this is a time where American is on the attack. You know, this president and his followers, they don't understand that this nation being built by and for immigrants. And we come in all shape and form. We came from Africa, Europe, Asia, or Latin America. But at the end of the day, we need to be sure, first of all, that we should stand for Ravi because standing for rabbits, standing for Amanda Morales, is standing for everyone who represents our great nation of America. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. Seeing none other, one, on behalf of the women's delegation and myself, we want to thank Council Member Ulrich for these lovely roses. Thank you. And now we hand it over to the speaker to close. Uh, speaker Corey Johnson, you I didn't get one? I want to thank Council Member Ulrich for his blazer. <laughs> uh, I am grateful that Council Members Ku and Chin are providing us with a delicious lunch tomorrow, so hopefully that lessens the blow of two stateds in a row. I also want to welcome uh, Errol Lewis and his class for being here today. Sorry we have a, a short agenda. I'm sure that his students have heard this already, but you know the seat that our public advocate sat in and the seat that Council Member Cumbo sits in, uh, Errol Lewis ran for that seat in 1997 against Mary Pinkett and James Davis, who was assassinated here in this very room and who public advocate James succeeded in a special election in that seat. And so we appreciate uh, Errol's political activity spanning decades, though he doesn't look that old, uh, here in the city and for being, even when we disagree, for being a conscience of the city and raising issues that other folks won't raise. With that, I will see you all tomorrow. We are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>